and what's going on it's your boy joe fontaine the vip sound lab and i was answering some more questions i had some questions as far as importing sound so i guess this is more or less like library management if you want to put it in that category as well yeah importing sounds to machine is really easy machine will even import uh pgm files such as from the mpc like for example uh where it says file you can actually import mpc files i don't have any mpc program files on, on this particular computer uh, i should have done that and then that way i could have showed you that but i have a video on that if you want to check that out on my, my website or my youtube channel but uh let's just go ahead and stick with uh these particular sounds that i have right here because you have a disk and library tab here and this is basically where your tag filters are going to show up uh once you import uh your sounds or your library um you know, I have some questions on Reason also. Reason, you want to use 16-bit um, audio files. Reason will not read 24-bit uh, audio files. Uh, not that I'm aware, anyway. <clears throat> Nine times out of ten, when I try it, it will it will give me an unsupported uh, format message. Um, on Reason 6, I'm not really sure it might on Reason 6. I haven't tried Reason 6 yet. But um, on Reason 5, I know it gives me... Uh, trouble when I do that so if you got 24-bit files you want to get them into uh, region it's no problem you just convert them you know you get you get a, you get a nice high quality batch converter bam convert them in like two minutes tops all right so let's say for example if I want to import my machine guru sessions volume one uh, kit so I select this little folder here also I would suggest um, your folders have them neat like Make sure you label everything nice and neat because it's just going to make it easier for you in the long run when you're browsing through the hardware controller. Uh, when you hit the browse button and you, you know you have the, the pre hear button and you can you can hear the sounds in real time, but it makes your job a lot easier when you have everything nice and neat and you know not scattered and you know everything's a mess in an array. You don't want to do that. It's just going to make your job harder. So label your folders, man. Make make sure everything's nice and neat. Uh, for the sake of the video. Uh, Cause I don't want to scan too long. I'll just do these um, 808s in the uh, sub. No, I just do the kicks. I'll, I'll use these kicks right here, and I'll just press import. Now, what you would do is you would highlight the whole folder, you know. But for the sake of the video, I don't want to be sitting here scanning for like five minutes. So I press import here. Sorry for moving weird with this. I'm using my laptop and I'm using that little trackpad thing. So you know, moving around is, is a pain in the butt right now. All right, so I press import. Your tag filters come up. So if I put, uh, we'll put machine, guru, enter, uh, see this is gonna be just some kick drums. So I guess I can use HD kicks. That wouldn't be bad, and drum kit. I have some filters that's already in there, but you know, you just name them where it says add new, you click this and you can name them whatever you want. It, you know, it, it's up to you. Um, like if I pre press right here and I press custom, you know, if I want to help filter a little more, I can use custom, press enter, you know, take this one off and just leave custom and, uh, maybe even help narrow it down a little more. If I write guru here, enter, maybe that'll help me narrow that down quicker. All right, so we got Machine Guru Custom, you know, whatever you want to do. Imports the files, saving the files and the attributes, and it's in there. <clears throat> now, it looks like it didn't do anything, but actually it did, because when you go back to your disk icon here, the first one, let's see, actually, well, it's not the first one, where it says Machine right there, Guru, and we got Custom. All right, so now... You see all the machine sounds here. Now you can scroll through them like this and hear them in real time. Or another way is if you look on your hardware controller, what you do is you press the browse button. Okay. And you notice on the left hand side of the screen, you're going to have the pre hear button. Uh, I will leave that on. Then you have your filter, your banks, your types, and your subtypes where you can um, go through the sounds above. Like, see how that's moving up there? That's me. Well, the mouse is right here, but. That's me on the hardware controller. That's how that moves. So when I select machine guru, and if I go to type guru and subtype custom, all right, now the sounds are there. So now on the right-hand side of the um, the controller, 
uh, you can go through the sounds. See, I'm going through the sounds. That's all in real time. So let's say if I just wanted to that little kick right there, I would just simply I can press load. There's a load button in the top right hand corner. Boom. And it goes in. Now you hear it. It's on it's on sound one right there. All right. So or you can do, let's say, one sound and then hold shift on some more sounds. You can load a whole entire group of sounds like that. Now I have all those sounds. Let me see, where's my pattern mode at? Let me uh, put a fixed velocity on that. <clears throat> so now we have all those sounds. Then I can scroll down a little bit further. Well, I'll use my filters. Let's go and use the filters. Let's go to VIP Sound Lab. And... Or I can find anything. Let's get some snares. I'll grab some snares. See, I'm just going through the sounds. I might say, hey, I, I like the way this snare right here is sounding. Grab all those. Bring them in. Or you can choose individual pads. It doesn't make a difference. All right, so then that way we have a nice little kit. Now, of course, you would put the hi-hats and everything of that nature in there and go from there, you know, set your pattern links. Then, um, oops. Then um, what you can do is you can go over, over here under File. You can press Save As Project with Samples, you know, and name it whatever you want to name it and be done with it. For example, let's see. Maybe we'll name this. I'm just going to erase this, but I'm just, just I just want to show you how it works. Import the IP kit. You know, I don't want to name it machine guru session because I don't want to get confused with any more of my other files. Put it on the desktop. <clears throat> the icon shows up or the icon will show up. Now I press save project with samples. make sure this is on the desktop too good thing I did that desktop press save and boom it shows up so now here's the session of course we didn't do anything on it just for the sake of the video but um you see right here where it says samples and there's all the sounds we just we, we just were using some of my sound and some of my SL my sound lab um snares right there. So that's pretty much it, man. Also, machine will um you can import MPC files, but it won't save them as a PGM file. So I have a video on that too. You might want to take a look at that if you want to find out how to um import your MPC files into machine. It'll load the groups and things of that nature, but it won't load patterns and stuff like that. Uh not currently as of the 1.8 um update. But yeah, man, that's pretty much how you, um, you know, if you want to do some library management, how to tag and filter your sounds and bring them into machine. Thanks for watching.